Welcome on simulating studio lighting with Skylight in Unreal Engine 5 and how it can help you create high quality renders of your assets or props. In today's digital age, creating realistic renders is essential in industries such as advertising, product visualization, and virtual production. And one of the most effective ways to create realistic renders is by simulating studio lighting. By using Skylight in Unreal Engine 5, you can create clean, even lighting that highlights the details of your subject. And by mastering prop rendering and lighting techniques, you can open up a world of opportunities in these industries. In this video, I'll show you how to create stunning photorealistic renders of your assets or props using Skylight and how to adjust the settings to achieve the desired lighting effect. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have the skills to create professional quality renders that will help you stand out in any industry. So are you ready to take your prop rendering and lighting skills to the next level? Let's get started. So first of all, I am going to delete the skylight that I've used in this project so you can better understand the process of adding it. But before we get into the skylight, I want to show you how I use three rectangular lights to add flavor and mood to my scene. While the skylight provides even lighting throughout the scene, rectangular lights allow you to create shadows and highlights that can add depth and atmosphere to your scene. In my case, I use three rectangular lights to create a moody cinematic feel. By adjusting the intensity, color, and angle of each light, I was able to create a unique and compelling look that perfectly suited the mood of my scene. So, whether you're going for a bright and cheerful look or a moody cinematic vibe, rectangular lights are a powerful tool that can help you creating stunning renders that stand out from the crowd. And with the Unreal Engine 5, it's easier than ever to experiment with different lighting setups and find the perfect look for your project. So go ahead and give it a try. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Okay, now that we're done with the rectangular lights, let's add the skylights to our project and simulate the studio lighting that we were looking for. So in this regard, I am going to add a skylight to the project and here we have the details of the actor. And the first thing that we're going to do is to change the source type from SLS Capture Scene to SLS Specified Cube Map. And we're going to cover the reason that we changed that source type. But first of all, I want to download some HDRI map from Poly Heaven website. And as you can see, I am in the Studio Lightings category. And I'm going to choose a random one. For example, this one looks okay, yeah. But keep in mind, you're going to download it in HDR format, okay? Not EXR, just in HDR format. So let's get back to our user interface and I am going to import it to the folder that I've created. And it's not a big deal, just importing like all other softwares that we did before. And it's right here, okay? And I am going to import this HDRI map to the cube map section of Skylight right here. Okay, and here we have our studio lighting. And this is the reason that I've changed the source type to SLS specified cube map. We only have the lighting of the HDRI map that we used in our project without capturing itself. And it leads to creating a stunning atmosphere of studio lighting. So let's change the viewport to the camera and I am going to increase the cube map resolution to 1024 to get better results and high quality lighting effects. Okay, and let's adjust the intensity of the skylight. And I think, yeah, this is okay. Maybe a little bit down. And now I am going to rotate the studio lighting and you can see the difference, okay? And yeah, something like this would be very special. And here I have these neon lights that I have in HDRI map. I can see their effects on my scene and it is really, really cool. And you can see that the result is absolutely perfect, but maybe decreasing a little bit 
intensity would be much more better yeah just like that and let's increase the indirect lighting intensity to get much more lighting in the shadows like that it's not obvious but uh, these minor differences would make big effects. You can also change the HDRI map and see which one is okay with the project because you are the author of your scene and no one else could get it better than yourself. And as you can see, I have changed the HDRI map and here I have different feelings, different moods and different atmosphere in this Japanese sword presentation, but all of them is up to you. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing to this channel for more tips and tricks on Unreal Engine 5. By subscribing, you'll stay up to date on the latest techniques and technologies and join a community of like minded creators and learners who are all striving to take their skills to the next level. So hit that subscribe button and join the community today. I can't wait to see what amazing projects you create with your new skills.